Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So Armbian provides a lot of downloadable images for a lot of boards, but sometimes you want to build your own image. These days that has become very easy, you can even build your images on your single board computers. With Linux it is easy to do, but in this video I am going to show you how to do this with Windows. So in the past we used to have to use a virtual machine, but these days we can use WSL2 to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to install WSL2 and then how to install the Armbian build script. So here we go! So here I am on a fresh installation of Windows. So the first thing I do is type in the search bar CMD. I right click on it to open as administrator. And then I type WSL dash dash install. It is that simple to do, just let it run, it will install everything. You will have to reboot after a while. And when it reboots then it will complete the installation. So after logging in again it will complete the install. So it is installing Ubuntu. You can also install other distros. But that's not what we are here for. So we choose our username and then we two times type a password. Do know it doesn't show anything when you type a password. That's the Unix way of working. So once the installation is done we have a Linux terminal. So we can do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And we can install Linux applications. Like for example I like Genie. So let's install Genie on Windows. So as you see this works. That is pretty nice. Now let's build an Armbian image. So open a browser and open Google and type there build Armbian and here we've got it. So the second is the build options, that can also be handy. The third is the github page. So here it is explained how to build Armbian. So it is simple. First we need to install git. Let's see if it is installed. We will have to use sudo of course. Seems that it is installed, I don't know. Now git clone. This downloads the build framework. So once that is done we can go into the build directory. So cd build. And here we have the file compile.sh, so it is this that we need. So we type dot slash compile.sh and we type enter. There we can add a lot more build options. But that's for another video, so here you can choose if you want to change something in the kernel or not. So let's not do that. So here we have got the supported boards. And if we go there, then we can see the boards that aren't supported yet, or that are end of life. So I'm gonna build for the Kados H2. The legacy kernel. So let's build a jammy image. So that is Ubuntu 22.04. An image with a desktop. And let's go for Gnome. I will not do the 3D support because that needs to be installed manually. This 3D support is to install the OIBUF repository. But that's not useful yet. That will be useful when we have got mainline kernel for the RK3588. For other SBCs that are not RK3588 there you can choose 3D support. That will give you the latest Panfrost driver or ARM Melly drivers. So after selecting all that, it is a waiting game. The first time it will take a while before it is done. 
but the more you build the faster it will become. Do know this takes up a lot of space, so be sure to have at least 20 gigabytes free. Best to have more. If you want to build many images, many different images, then you need a lot of space. I have got a 200 gigabyte SSD for building Armbian images. So while it is building, let's show you where you can find the Linux folders. So here we have got Linux and there we have got Ubuntu. So here we have got our home folder and the Armbian build framework. And it is done. So here it took 30 minutes to build the first image. For server images it would be a lot faster of course. This is done on an old Intel i5 2500K, so a quad core CPU. On more modern hardware this would be a lot faster. So here we see the build options. So if you want to do it again without having to choose everything manually, then you can use this. Or to put in a script. And now where to find our images. So let's go back to this folder, my home folder, the build folder. And there we have got outputs and images. And the upper file is it. So as you see it is a dot image. So now we can write this onto an SD card or an EMMC or whatever you want. And you can use Armbian. So that will be it for today. Thank you all for watching. A more comprehensive video about Armbian building will come in the future. This was just to show you how to do it with Windows. So see you all later. Bye.